Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and fascinating puzzle here that definitely deserves the title of Serial Killer and I'm really looking forward to giving this a go in a moment. Uh, but I am also very keen to credit those people who have sent us in answers to Reverence Puzzle Hunt, which has been so popular this month. So well done to Mohammed Balal, Tuna Sheriff, Jack, Billy, Tom and Beth, also known as The Sims, because that is actually their family name. And I love the fact that there's a family called The Sims doing our puzzle hunt. Uh, also, Bob Banks, Andreas Meyer and Peter Smith. Well done to those. And of course, don't forget all the other content on Patreon, as well as that puzzle hunt. There's our reward puzzle for the month um, for those people who are paying three dollars a month. And get videos as well. There are the video solutions to the reward puzzle. Simon's extra Philomeno video, my crossword video this month. Last month we had the Modern Art Sudoku pack. Actually, I may go back to that. There were some puzzles I still haven't tried to my shame. Um, and also, of course, the Tracking the Cryptid puzzle hunt, which was unbelievable. So tons of stuff on Patreon. Also, our apps. I mean, hundreds of puzzles there if you're looking for puzzles to do, handcrafted by some of the best setters in the world and us. Um, the Killer app uses puzzles from the absolute best setters, in my opinion, in the world and is incredibly popular accordingly. Uh, they're all available on the links under the video in the description field. Now, also there is this puzzle in our software. And the rules are fascinating. Normal Sudoku rules do apply. And you might have been wondering about that if you're a killer aficionado and spotting cages like 31 in four cells and 46 in any number of cells because they're not normally possible. And that's because one of the rules has been turned on its head. Um, in Killer Sudoku, you have normal Sudoku rules and the sums of the cages are given. Now that's still true here, but there is a pesky rule in Killer which normally says that digits cannot repeat in cages. That is totally turned on its head. Not only can digits repeat in cages in this puzzle, they must if they can. So for any cage that's not confined within one row, column or box, and there are a few that are confined and they can't contain repeats. But for all the other cages, I'm, I'm sorry, this is not meant to be comprehensive. I'm just highlighting the ones I can see that don't contain a repeat. But any cage that can have a repeated digit within normal Sudoku rules does have at least one. Uh, so that's a fascinating rule. The, the circled cell is odd as well. So here we go. I mean, do try it on the link below the video. I should say I'm very much under the gun here. I have a conference call, including Simon, in half an hour. And actually, over half the videos I've done this week have been considerably longer than that. So I hope I don't have to abort this, but we'll see. Do give it a try. I'm going to go as fast as I reasonably can, if, if that is possible. Um, but I don't know what we're going to get. So give it a try yourself. I'm going to try it now. Let's get cracking. And I'm in the 30. Oh, yeah, OK. Regular, regular Sudoku ploy. Yes, look. If you add up these three cages and subtract 45, which must be the sum of these nine digits, which by normal Sudoku rules have to be the numbers one to nine, well, I can tell those add up to 45. So plus 17 to get the sum of all these, minus 45 is 17. Those two are nine and eight, therefore. Um, these two are either nine and five or eight and six. Uh, which definitely both obey the rule. They would create a repeated digit in the 31 cage. Seven always is one, two, four, especially, well, when it's confined within a box. Ah, the six cage has to be two, one, two pairs for either row and column. Ah, look, there's a nice bit of, if I was in the Daily Killer Sudoku program, that would tell me the sum of these cages. I'm just going to add the units digit. 2840000. Zero, 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 zero. Right, I know this is a three. And let me just explain that. 
these must add up to 177. Now I didn't do all that maths in my head. What I did was add the unit digits. That came to a seven. And because there's only one digit left to fill in a, in a group of four columns that must add to 180 because it's 45 times four, I know that that must be a three to make that up. Now that is in a position where the only repeated digit in this cage has to be there and there. Uh, so those are threes, 17 left, that's a 9-8 pair. We get a nice Sudoku play, 9-8 there. Look, both of those are in positions that have to be repeats. And we get a 9-8 pair in box three. That is the only cell in this 26 cage not in box three. That's the only cell not in row two, so they have to be repeats. Same sort of thing for those two. Ah, now 46 plus one or two is 47 or 48. Take away the 45 in these nine, and this cell must be two or three. Can't be two because that's a one, two pair, and normal Sudoku rules apply. So there's a repeated three in this cage. Ah, and these eight cells now add up to 46 minus three is 43. To make up the 45 total in the box, that's a two, that fixes our ones and twos. Um, these are four, five, six, seven, but those don't include a four because of the seven cage. So that's four. That digit repeats in one of these two cells, but I don't know which one yet. Um, four, eight, the other two must add up to 12. Okay, I can't do that. These two are two, seven. These two are five, six, and I know that one's odd, so they go straight in, that's 11. Another 11 there, which is either six, five, or four, seven. Oh, it can't be four, seven, because we need a repeated digit, so it's six, five. That's fine. Six, five, two, eight, nine. This can be one, four, or seven. Well, it could be, it can't be seven because you'd have a repeat here. So one and one is two. These could add up to 10, which would be three and seven, or to four, which would be three and one. That's really weird. Both of those are still possible. So that, however, can't be a seven. So that's one or four. Seven goes here. It's a one that's repeated in the 12 cage, and that's a four. So, not hard to keep making progress here so far. Now, ah, 17, this is a repeated digit. It's not gonna be a seven because that can't be a three. So it's five or six, making this seven or five. Oh, those are possible. Um, right, now here we have I don't know, that's probably not the way to attack. Oh look, these two add up to nine and they can't be one, eight, three, six, or seven, two. That's five, four. So is that right? No, that is not right. Let's start that again. These add up to either 18 or 16, not to 17. Sorry, they are, I'm so used to regular killer, I thought they had to be different, but no, they're the same. So this pair adds up to 10 or eight. It's either two, six, two, eight, can't be two, eight, or four, six. Hmm. Two, six, or four, six, and that one can't be a two. There's definitely a six in it. Now, maybe I could just add up these cells to get 90 plus these two. Uh, 35, 47, 79, 99, 105. So these two add up to 15. Um, nine or eight there, this can't be a six. So it must be a seven with an eight here, sorry that highlighted. So the eight there, 16, these add up to 10. It's a four, six pair. That and that are nine. Two, five here. Yep, yeah, that makes the 14 cage works. Looks like I did the maths right. Three, five, seven up there. Two, eight, six. No, two, five, seven up there. 
be more careful, Mark, even if you're in a hurry. Right, 386 up there. That leaves 4 and 9 in these two. Now, this is a repeated digit. Oh, well, I mean, it's even simpler in the 13 cage. It can't be 9 being repeated. So it's 4. 9 is repeated in the 27. This adds up to 5. It must be 3 and 2. This adds up to 9. And now we've had 2, 3 and 4 used up. That must be 8 and 1. So this is going fine. I'm pretty confident of finishing in time. That's good news. 5, 6, 7 there fixes that. 4 and 7 to go in there. Don't know which way those go. Right, this adds up to 14. Ah, well, it, okay, it can't be 8, 6 as a pair because of that cell. That would make it impossible. So it's a 9, 5 pair. Doesn't resolve how this works, annoyingly. Ah, it does actually, because there's a 5 there, these can't both be 5s now. That's quite interesting. That, that would be too many fives in rows eight and nine. So those two are sixes, making that a five. And that does sort out the nine five. It makes this a seven. It doesn't make this nine eight. Now this has a four in it, 11. So it's four five. Yeah, that looks right. And we've got a four six pair there. So that uses up the fours for columns seven and eight. And we know which way around that goes. Um, now we've got six or eight to go in here. So the only place for seven in column three is there. Uh, are these not really resolved? No, they're not. Right, 17 here. And we can't use nine, eight, seven, six, four. Yeah, that is definite. Six, seven, four. That fixes the five, six pair. Fixes the two, five pair. 3, 8, 6 at the top, that makes this 8, 9, 8 in there, 1 and 2 still to place, in fact this is 1, 2, 3, that would have been a slightly simpler sum to do. Now this can't be 6, 4 or 8, 2, that doesn't resolve it, oh, okay, um, That's four sixes resolved by the six at the bottom. A bit of detailed scanning would have got that done quicker. Three, eight, and nine to place. That can be three or nine, but it can't be three because we aren't allowed a seven there. So it's nine, one, two there, one there. They're not resolved. That, ah, the one in this box, again, scan all the way and you can find things. Right, five, four, two, nine, one, six, eight, three, and seven to go in here. Three, we can do them all, and that's going to resolve our remaining ambiguities in rows eight and nine. The two five at the top has been fixed, and now surely five nine that does fix the eight nine pair that's been hanging on since almost the start. Eight three, two digits left to go. One and six and there we go that is the solution to bobbert joe's lovely serial killer idea not too hard a puzzle happily well done in the time good lord only 14 minutes on the video so far okay that's not bad at all um well done maybe i rushed it a bit sorry if uh, you struggled to follow any of the logic there um but it was fairly straightforward i do hope you had a go at that it's pretty approachable actually once you get your head around that unused rule. I don't know if the tick is going to work or whether our software now looks at killer cage totals. Ah, oh, it doesn't because it says it's fine. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. Very much hope to see you again soon on the channel. And bye for now.